Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And this one, we're going to be looking at the dupe system. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome to our latest preview video. Today we're going to talk about- Hey! Matching shirts! <laughs> the new systems for helping you get the most value from your duplicate champions. As duplicate champions is a multifaceted issue, we analyzed a variety of situations and identified a few key issues that different groups of players face. And because there were a few different situations and issues, we had to come up with a few different solutions. Something that applies more to newcomers looking to progress quickly, something that may be more useful for mid-game players looking to make the step up, and something that will be more beneficial to end-game players with pretty bloated... They were saying that they were going to do a short-term and a long-term solution. So wait, it's not just early or late game. It's all three. So it doesn't matter where you are. You get some, no, dude. Champion collections. We wanted to make sure there was a solution that everyone could potentially benefit from, no matter where they are in game. All right, enough talk, let's get into it. You all know the sparring pit in your bastion, where champions bash each other on the head to gain experience. Well, it's getting an upgrade. The new Guardian Ring will still have all the functionality of the sparring. Yo! Look! This looks amazing! Oh, dude, compared to the old sparring pit, it looks like trash. <laughs> pit inside, but it will also have a bunch of new mechanics, including faction guardians. What the f empowerment and champion unbinding you won't know what those are yet but don't worry i'll take you through them all let's start with the feature the ring is named after faction guardians the faction guardians tab will let you assign duplicate champions of different rarities to become faction guardians this means they'll boost the stats of all champions of the same rarity in that faction when you first visit the tab you'll see a list of all factions Tapping on any of the banners will bring up a new tab with the duplicate slots available. Each slot gives a stat bonus to all champions of that faction and of that specific rarity. It's a bit similar to Great Hall bonuses, but faction-specific instead of affinity-specific. Slots are unlocked in order, so after you get your bonus to HP, you'll unlock the slots that can get you bonus stack, which will unlock the slots for defense and so on. For example, let's say we have two Raglins you'll be able to put them both into the first Legendary Bannerlord slot and unlock a 10% HP boost for all Legendary Bannerlords you own, including your Raglins, both of which you can still use. If you also had a pair of Barons, you can put them in the second slot that was just unlocked to get an attack boost and so on. As I mentioned, champion- Whoa, their speed. What? Yo. <laughs> Yes. So, an early game player can literally just be, build rares. This open up, opens up so much possibilities. Because now you don't have to, like, go crazy. Like, you could still want to summon shards to get, like, epic and legendaries. But imagine, like, someone like Colbrew with, like, uncommons and rares. You can literally... Build yourself like the most insane rare team or comps, and then they get boosted because you're doing. As I mentioned, champions you make into faction guardians can still be used in battles. As long as you don't get rid of either champions, you'll get the bonus. And faction guardians aren't only available for legendaries, epic and rare champions can also become faction guardians. Since you don't lose your champions when you assign them to be guardians, you can still use them. 
For new players, this means you can boost the stats of your rare and epic champions yes. and bring them more in line with the strength of standard legendary champions that you are having to fight against. If you don't have many legendaries yet, this can be a big help in closing the gap and winning some harder fights in the arena or the dungeons. For mid-game players, this flexibility will help you conquer the arena or beat some of the raid's tougher challenges. Like right. Doom Tower, Spider, Fire Knight. Oh. Some of the trickier secret rooms in the Doom Tower. And as your collection grows, you'll be able to benefit from some pretty sweet stat boosts if you manage to summon a couple of duplicate legendaries. For endgame players, this means you can have your cake and eat it too. You can get the stats boost from assigning some legendary faction guardians and keep your duplicate champion available in case you want to build a second of a certain champion with this different artifact setup for a completely different role. And for everyone, no matter where you are in the game, bonus stats mean that all of you can be a bit bolder when experimenting with artifact setups. Okay, let's move on to our second option, Champion Empower. Right, basically what Cyril is saying is that if I want to build someone in curing instead of like immortal you might be like dang i'm gonna lose that set bonus but now if you get different bonuses for doing this you can it opens up different avenues to build champions differently than the meta way i like that empowerment the principle is pretty simple you select a legendary champion and feed them their duplicates to permanently empower them Whoa. Wait. I thought they weren't doing this. Them ...and give them a stat boost. You can do this up to four times. But oh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I was about to jump out of my seat. <laughs> okay, so. I've actually pulled three martial leads. I have three Lanicuses. I could see four being a cap because three is too quick as well. Four is a good. Hmm. If you think about it, we've been playing raid almost two years and a half, right? In terms of how long, it's almost three actually that it's gonna exist. Hmm. I can kind of see that a year per dupe plus you pull one. All right. But keep in mind that you'll permanently lose the champions you used to empower in other. So right. think twice before you do it. Like we said, we limited it. So while they can get a nice boost, you can't make them into unbeatable monsters. We want to make sure it won't throw game balance off. Right. We also realize there are a few champions you can't ever get duplicates of. Lydia the Death Siren, Gumlock Sky Height, Ura Soul Cage, and a few others. So that these powerful champions aren't left out of this feature, we've assigned other champions from their faction to act as their surrogate duplicates as far mm. as empowering is concerned. For example, you'll be able to use Vizix to empower Lydia. What? Anyway. I'm gonna use Vizix to empower Vizix. I'm not giving you my, my Vizix to Lydia, even though Lydia, Lydia is amazing. I get it. But no, 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 I want a quad physics. No, 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 <laughs> just personally. The entire list will be available in the game once the Guardian Ring goes live. Finally, we have the Champion Unbinding feature that is also exclusive to Legendary Champions. Ooh. In this tab, you'll be able to permanently release your Legendary dupes to get a special resource called Life Tokens. those dupes forever, but you get a life token for giving them their life back. There's nothing fancy about the process itself. You choose a champion, triple check them to make sure you don't need them, then release them from your service to get a life token. From there, you go to the token trader tab and behold several shiny legendary champions that you can get using life tokens. Different Whoa. I can get a Sir Nicholas? A Foshan? A Molly? Bro, please, I need my lizardmen and dwarves. Oh my god. 
Can't wait. You can take my extra Lanicus, I don't care. Legendaries will have a different price based on their power, and you only get each of them from the token trader once. With this feature, you'll be able to get rid of unwanted duplicates and choose a champion you do want from the token trader list instead. We're going to be making a variety of champions available from the token trader, including some you might have missed out on from champion fusion events if you weren't lucky enough to be playing raid back then. Folly, Molly Tankard, Fushan, Minaya, and a few others will all be available. Oh, and it's the holiday season soon. Wait. They... I missed them because I came after them. I don't... I don't remember Fushan or Minaya... What? Was... Was Coroner a fusion? There was... There was a whole Beauty and Beast. But I don't... I don't remember Minaya... Because Coroner and Minaya came out together, but I don't remember there being a fusion, was there? And Fushan? Hey, whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take both. I'm gonna take all four. Give me a do Foley. <laughs> so the very special, very jolly Serenity yes! will be coming to town as well. That's about it for the video. Be sure to let us know how things go. Once you've had a chance to play with the new features, we'll be monitoring your feedback, as always. Until next time, happy raiding. Dude. Also, can we give justice to De Death Knight, please? Can we change his A1 to HP? We're creating a dupe system, but he's still left out with attack? Like, I know this is just off subject, but he's an HP champion off attack? Can we, can we give him justice, please? HP scaling? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Raiders, for watching this Raid Shadow Legends video. Wow, I'm... Not one, not two, not even three. It's Sparring Pit times four? What? So you give... You better upgrade the tavern. You better upgrade this tavern, too. But damn, that is amazing. That is better than I expected. They didn't fall on their feet this time. They actually delivered. In less time. We thought they were going to take till next year. It's actually going to come out this year. Whoo! Let's see, man. I'm... Dude, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's just hope it's not buggy. Let's hope it comes, launch is good, and people don't feed dupes, and don't get nothing in return. Are you guys, are you raiders happy? Tell me in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, raiders.